Hello once again, I'm back with another Valhalla video. Today is an insane exploit, an insane glitch, and this is not clickbait. What you saw in the thumbnail and title is definitely true. I will show you how you can get to the max level in this game in less than an hour. Now an even better part of this glitch or exploit is that you can do this no matter what level you are. You could be at level 1 if you wanted and I will prove that to you by being level 1 when I perform this glitch. And as you can see on screen I am power level 1. I have just reset all my skill points so my max power I could be is 155. But I am doing this at power level 1 and I will show you how I get to power level 400 in no time. Now if this video helps you out, please let me know down below, subscribe for more content like this. I have a bunch of other glitches already on my channel and a bunch more to come in the next couple days. Now without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so this makes use of another glitch that was in one of my other videos where you can become immortal. Basically, this makes you invincible and unable to be seen by any enemy in the game. You will need to exploit this to make this a lot easier. You do not need to do this if you are a high level, but this will make this glitch insanely fast if you start off with this exploit. Now, if you haven't watched my other video, I will go over quickly what to do right now. If you have seen that and you know how to get the God Mode, skip to this time on screen. So to get this God Mode exploit, you need to come to one of these dice games. There is one in your settlement but you can find them all over the map they have this dice uh, symbol and you'll find them mostly in cities once you found one of these games you're just going to come over and interact with it and press yes let's play it's going to start the game and you are going to get to flip a coin it doesn't matter which one you choose choose heads or tails you're going to go onto your map straight after you do that and this will let you fast travel and keep your immortality or immunity that you have from playing this mini game. All right, so if you wanna know more in depth how this works and how you can use it, just check out my other video, but basically that's the uh, basis of it. Now the location we will be going to today is down the bottom left of the map. We will be using this right here. So this is one of these mythical beasts that you can hunt if you've already killed this animal. Unfortunately, you will not be able to exploit this, but again, if you're up to the point where you've killed this animal, you probably don't need to get uh, an unlimited supply of XP because you're probably already close to the max level. If you haven't, again, it doesn't matter what level you are, you want to come down here. It is in the bottom left of the map. Now you can do this at level one. It doesn't matter. Just be careful of the animals and enemies down here. They are very, very powerful. 340 suggested power. So I recommend coming over and getting this fast travel location here so you can easily travel to this location right here. So you're going to see me fast travel and once I fast traveled here, my character will be immortal and then you will be able to travel to the location I just suggested and start this glitch. All right, now I'm here, I will just quickly prove that the glitch has worked. This is a location I'm not allowed in. As you can see, I smacked this guy and he hasn't noticed me because I am invisible because I have used the God Bird, so the God Bird definitely works. If you have the instant assassination that you turn on in settings, that will be a lot more useful. So I recommend turning that on just for this exploit. You can always turn it back off. Now you're going to make your way out of this area. Uh, while you're in this God Mode, there is no HUD on your screen, unfortunately. So you are not able to hit a location and then travel there on their compass. You can pull up your map though, so check that you're going in the right direction. So you're going to make your way towards the location I suggested and check your map if you need guidance. And I'll talk to you when I'm there. All right, so here is the location. You can see the two cats down there. They are the uh, mythical creatures that you are meant to kill in this area. So if I go into the map, you can see I am right here at this paw symbol. I'll show you again where it is on the map. Now this is where the glitch takes place. So basically what happens is when you kill the bigger of the two of these cats, it gives you two skill points and you can refresh it so that that big cat spawns back. As long as you don't kill both of them, this will work. Now I highly recommend you save beforehand. So I'm going to save right now, just in case you screw it up, maybe you accidentally kill both of them or a save file 
corrupts for whatever reason. I don't think this will have any impact on your save bar corrupting or any of the sort, but you never know, just in case it's always best to save. Now these two would have already attacked me, but obviously I've used that glitch that makes me invincible. So they have no idea I'm here, which means I can walk up and assassinate or if it lets me assassinate this cat. Now I have fought this cat before without this glitch and it is pretty difficult to kill, especially if you're not at near the, uh, near the level, but you are welcome to do that if you don't want to do this god mode glitch or if this god mode glitch gets patched, you are welcome to do that. Now, as you saw on screen, I did get my two skill points. I'm going to run down this direction here. It says you are exiting the beast's lair. That is good. I'm going to run over here to where this rock is out of the zone. I'm going to run back and basically that giant cat will have spawned back and I can just assassinate it again. There you are. You can see the little one jumping around. There is the big one. I can run over. I can assassinate the big one. Two skill points. I will show you my skills just to prove it. You see, I have 159 skill points. Now let me speed this up, do it a couple more times, and I will show you how many skill points I have. All right, so here we are. I've done this for about 10 minutes. There's my plus two skill points. Now let's check what happened. So skills, we've gone up. It was about 50 something, 150 something, I believe. And we are now at 209 skill points in just about 10 minutes. So obviously I am on one power right now. So to prove that you can be any power level in the game to perform this. And I will go and spend all of my 209 skill points. And you are welcome to do this as high as you want if you just want to play the game normally. Do that as well. You can always just get all the skill points and then just not spend them all if you still want to reduce your power level to make the game more enjoyable and play it how it was meant to be played, but that is entirely up to you. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more glitches like this, please subscribe. I promise you in the next day or so, I have more videos coming out on new farms and exploits that I have found or discovered or figured out or have been passed on to me. So stay tuned for that. If you make use of this, let me know down below. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Take care, peace.